doing on this very, very sunny, hot Thursday. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Our day has started very, very differently to how we expected it to start at the start of this week. I'm going to hopefully do a really quick, quick rundown. I know I always let my mind trail away with myself and blab on for ages. Hopefully this won't be boring and will inform you on why we have come to make the decision that we have done today. The girls came home from school yesterday with letters, 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 informing us that the school has been undergoing a series of tests to test the level of radiation gases in and around the school. The reports have just come back and confirmed that there has been high levels of radon recorded in certain areas of the school. Basically, if you are unaware what radon is, it's basically a radiative, radi, a, ra a radioactive gas. It's a radioactive gas. And just so that you, if you do know, just so that you know that we already know this, and if you don't know, to inform you, we know that radon is present everywhere. It's present everywhere. And in small doses, in open spaces, it's relatively safe and it causes little to no risk of harm to you when breathed in. However, in high doses, in smaller, not very well ventilated areas, over a long period of time, radon can be extremely dangerous and can cause serious health risks when you get older. And when I say risks when you get older, I don't mean it could cause you to get wrinkles quicker or something minor like that. We're talking about serious cancers and really serious health issues that can be extremely dangerous. So the letter we received from school yesterday informed us that high levels of radon had been traced in the school. However, it didn't let us, let us know or inform us whereabouts in school these high levels had been recorded. It didn't let us know what, what the level was, so how high the level actually was. And it did say that it's safe in small doses and it's only at a risk to you if you are exposed to it for a long period of time. Now. Our main concerns, Isabel has been going to that school for the last seven years, five days a week, day in, day out, in a small classroom, which is classed as a small area. And if you ask me, that could be a health risk to her when she gets older. And we don't know, we haven't been informed yet as to how long these levels have been high for. Is it just something that's happened over the last few months? Is it something that's been there always, but we've just never known? So due to this, we have decided to withdraw our girls from school, not forever. They will be going back. It's Thursday today, and we just do not feel comfortable with sending the girls to school until we have more information on this, this issue, basically. Until we know how high, we know some facts, like how high the level is, which classrooms or rooms in the school, how long has it been there for, what are they doing to reduce the levels, we have been told they are working on reducing the levels at the moment and we have been told not to panic and we don't need to withdraw our children from school but as a parent I'm not comfortable sending my child to a classroom where there's radioactive gases floating around in the air and I don't have facts on them. I don't have facts. We don't know anything as of yet. So with that in mind we have decided that today and tomorrow, which are the last two days before term, We've not taken this decision lightly. Our children's education is extremely important to us, but we have decided that for the last two days of term, today and tomorrow, we will not be sending the girls to school. We want facts on what's going on before we will feel comfortable enough to let the girls go back there. If anybody watching this doesn't agree with our decision and you think we're being over the top, then that's absolutely fair enough. Everyone is entitled to, to their own decision. However, please do not give us a load of hate on this video telling us that we are jeopardizing our child's education. As I said, this is not something we have taken lightly, but it is something both me and Chris feel firmly in what we are doing is the right decision for us and for our children. So, today we were planning, me and Chris, on going out for the day 
and enjoying the weather but as the girls are now off school we're going to spend the morning and probably most of this afternoon doing some work with them because obviously they should be at school so we are going to be staying at home today and doing some work with them but as the weather is so nice this afternoon around half past two we are going to venture out somewhere because this weather is beautiful okay guys it's just gone 2 p.m almost 2 30 and we are just going to head on out for a picnic because this is by far the hottest day it's of the degrees. Oh, actually, 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 how many degrees is today 27 how, how many degrees is it today i don't know 27 today 28 degrees 28 oh my goodness so the Look. highest is 28 and the lowest is 12 which it's is not bad. extremely hot today. This is like unheard of here in the UK. It's yeah, beautiful. It's Chris is just on the phone um, with school actually, just making sure, seeing if there's any updates on the information they can give us. I, know I don't think there is at the moment, but just so that you guys know, we are keeping fully in contact with the education yeah. board. Like I explained this morning, we won't be sending the girls back to school I until we get answers and a few facts on on the measurements that have been recorded. Chris is just on the phone right now and then we're going to set off. We're going to call up some shops, get some picnic Can bits. I say something to our eye. Can you say something to our eye fam? Go. It's like America. Does it feel like America? Yeah, it's really hot. Really, really hot. Yeah, it's boiling on the screen. I know. Prini, are you making new friends? Are you making new friends, darling? Good girl. Nope, I'm more interested in all that juicy pack up that's on that mat. Oh it's yeah. Like pasta, you don't have pasta. Prini doesn't like this weather. She is way too hot for Prini. Yeah. She's like, nah, man, I am not doing anything today. I'm chilling. Good girl. And this is in the shade of it. Yeah. Good girl, Prini. Man, you guys, this picnic looks so it's nice good. Size. What are these dips? I guess that's, that's chili like, salsa. Yeah. No, we've got. It's not. It's, it's not as spicy. It's mint, it's not spicy. pakora, mint. and mango chutney. Mango chutney. Oh, pakora is that one? I bet one of them's hot. Have you tried them, girls? Esme will be loving their hot stuff on that, won't you? Yeah. Like this I don't, one. That's not the hot one. That's not the um. Hot Which one? That looks like the hot one, I think. Yeah. Can I just try no, that? No, oh, you have. Oh, none of them are hot then. I don't think so. Oh, that's that good hot. then for you guys. That hot. No. Is it no. yummy, Esme? It's got a tiny bit of kick, but. They're not like, spicy. Not actually spicy. You guys look so gorgeous today. And I've just noticed that Esme has got on her donut worry top. <laughs> that Sarah showed in Asley the other day. I no. love that. It's so cute. Mum loves that face. She loves it. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it is super cute though. I love it. Yeah, it is. And you're looking very pretty in your jumpsuit today, Isabel. Thank you. I love it. Where was that from? Is that one of your... Island, I think. No, New Look. New Look, yeah. New Look, yeah, from when you went to Leeds. Um, I've got a place I know, and you look so beautiful too, Isla. I love that place Oh, I thought yours was this was Esme's? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I it remember it from Esme's. being Esme's. Yeah. When she was four. I can't remember it being Isla's. I think I... Has, has yeah, Isla had it. Isla had one, but now she fits yours now, so... But Isla's, Isla's wearing 12 to 18 months, so it doesn't fit her anymore. Oh my goodness, can you do it? Three, two, one. Woo! That was a slow one, wasn't it? Can you push me on the switch? Of course, darling, let's go. One. That looks so much fun, Isla. My toes are touching the floor. That's because you're getting such a big girl now. I, I can hear your sister screaming. Should we go see what they're doing? Yeah. I'm there. Should we go have a look? You ready? Go, I'll chase you. Chase me! What are you crazy so doing? Me was spinning me. And she was spinning me so fast running around and she fell. And then I said to her, Esme, don't don't go near it when she was spinning me. She went near it and <laughs> knocked her on the floor. Oh my there. goodness, Esme. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Do you want to slice spin you? No, I don't. No, it's alright. Right. <laughs> in a minute, Watch you Esme. can spin her. But I just want to show you what okay, I can Okay, go on do. then. You can spin her in a sec. Rock-a-bye, baby. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Esme. Okay, oh my gosh. Esme's like basically at the top of the tower right now. Yay! Esme, you're, oh, you're crazy girl. Esme's such a Rambo. Yes, yes. Look how high she is up there. That is crazy. Okay, come down now, missus. That's a bit too scary for me. We are sadly just leaving Ilkley. I don't feel like we got enough time okay. here. But we do have to leave because we need to get back for the girls' dance class, which starts in 45 minutes. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that blue sky. I'm not even joking right now. It feels like we're in Florida. It is so gorgeous here tonight. I love it. Basically, what you do is you get a daisy and you pick some off and go, I love Isabel, I don't. 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 I love Isabel, and you end up with no flower. You try to not land on, I don't love Isabel. Yes, I love Esme. You love Esme, good. local places this is one of the girls favorite places to come I don't know why I think it's because they feel like they get a bit of freedom when we come here because although we can see exactly where they are we know they're safe they kind of have a big space to run around and you can't see now I think Chris is over there filming so you'll probably understand what I mean but it's kind of like an area of trees and then they can go behind those and there's a little path there it doesn't lead to anywhere it's high walls so they can't get out but they just like hiding in there and playing and it's so sweet i'm just literally looking at my face right now look at that line chris has just got back i'm not speaking to myself yeah you look old look at that line from squinting all day that's i've been <laughs> like this all day oh my gosh look at the wrinkles You might need them in a few days. There we days. go. I'll definitely need them in a few days. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I absolutely love nothing more in the entire, excuse me, in the entire world than surprising the girls. There's, I can't, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited we're gonna have a really fun half term now. Like I said earlier on this week, we weren't planning on doing anything really exciting this half term, but with events recently Manchester and everything you know it makes you realize you only live once and yes you can save and save and save but you never ever know what's going to happen tomorrow fingers crossed nothing but you just never know and so we're going to make the most of this half term and go and do something mega this is the most what, what's the word I'm thinking of impulsive. the most impulsive thing we've never ever ever done whenever we do holidays or that's giving it away actually <laughs> Whenever we do fun things that might include traveling, we always plan it with precision for months and save and pay a bit and then save and pay a bit and save. And pay. We always do it like that. This feels like the most spontaneous thing we've ever done, even though we've paid less for this because it's so last minute than any other holiday we've ever had. Oh well, it's exciting. I can't wait for Isabel to get back at the weekend and then reveal to you guys what we are doing. Right now we're just sat enjoying the sun with a cheeky J2O and you're eating biscuits. Check this out for a flattering angle. I'm <laughs> definitely including that. Oh no. Hello, friends. I thought. <laughs> Lit lips. Big lips. Give me a kiss, babe. It's okay. Oh, yeah, no, don't you <laughs> see you lick me or something. <laughs> Where are you going? We're going to. I can, I can hear everything on his mouth. Are they all in the secret garden? Yeah. Should we go see? Yeah. Come on, let's go see. Go, you show me. Go. 
Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm going to tell you what we're doing. What are we doing? We're spying on people. Spying on people? Yeah, we try, we, um, like, tricking them. Oh, that's very cheeky. Let's go. let's go find your sisters. Come on, let's go. Can you show me the way? This way? Oh, quick, go, go, go. I can hear them screaming. Let's go around that way. Oh, Isabel's here. You. Oh my gosh. What's going on? We went into this boy's den. Is the boy that's chasing us? We went into their den. We didn't know it was their den, and now I was trying to get We went into their den because we didn't know it was their den, now they're chasing us. And we're in the secret garden over here. Come and show us the secret garden, let's go. Show me. Okay, so is this a secret garden? It's very noisy in here. <laughs> Who's on this, May? I'm on. Come here. Oi! Let's get it. Take. Is it Esme's on? Esme's on. Esme's on. Come on then, Esme. Yeah, I got that. Come on, Mr. Man, need to whisper me something. Yeah, I'm fine. Where's my son? No, I'm on! Where's my son? I'm on! Jake, I'm on! Yay! I don't lose being on. No, I'm on! Oh! 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 Whoa, I nearly just took my head straight out on that bar then. That was so close. No, it's actually time to go now, babe. I was coming over to get here, so it's time to go. We've got to get home to bed. Okay. We have. We've got to get to bed. We've got to get to bed, you little monkey. Never mind to play. <laughs> oh, there's a spider on your back. A cheeky little spider on your back. What you gonna do when the spider's on your back? Oh no! You know, play. No, not play, get down, ah! fool. Time to go to bed. <laughs> Come on then, gorgeous girls. Come on then, gorgeous, let's get ourselves home. Yeah. You ready? Ready for some prison break? Yes. Oh yeah. Let's go. What's up guys, how's it going? I've just talked to everybody in bed and I'm just coming outside right now to end the vlog. Keep it nice and quiet inside. We're all up super early tomorrow morning. Isla's been suffering from toothache the last couple of days, so I rang up and got her in for an appointment to have it checked because we don't want to leave my little soldier suffering if she has toothache, which is really random for Isla because she never ever gets any type of ailment or pain or toothache or anything like that. So I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with the teeth, but we're gonna go get them checked out tomorrow morning just in case. So I hope you guys have loved this video. If you have, go give a big thumbs up. Come and leave us a comment and let us know what you've been doing with your sunny day today. If it's been sunny where you are in the world. I know if you're from the UK, you've probably been enjoying some sun today. It's been like 27 degrees here. That never happens. Anyway guys, I'll be back with question of the day tomorrow. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you all tomorrow night at six with a brand new daily vlog. Good night.